So we've got the brand new Mega Man Villains series uh, from 8-Bit Beard Co. Uh, and these are all cologne scents. I'm going to tell you all about it in just a second. So welcome, guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And the more I talk to Sean, who's the owner of 8-Bit, the more I really dig in his creativity. Uh, and he's already creative with the website and, and, and I've chatted behind the scenes and he's just really cool stuff with the graphics and he's got tons of ideas. He's got some new um, packaging coming. I saw some new boxes that look like little uh, old school Nintendo systems. That's what the boxes look like. So be looking for that soon. Just a lot of cool creative things going on behind the scenes over there. Really enjoy that. I really enjoy these scents. Now, uh, some guys really love the cologne scents and some guys don't. I used to not like them. Uh, it, it was probably a, a year or two before I started warming up to the cologne type of scents for beard oil because I just never wore cologne. I, uh, you know, I wore it a few times when I was a teenager, but then I really didn't wear it any for, I don't know how many years that was, 20 years, I never wore any cologne. So now that I've tried all these other beard uh, scents, I've actually warmed up to it and like cologne scents quite a bit. So these are um, sort of um, spins or takes on uh, famous cologne scents. And you see a lot of times uh, companies do that. So this does have like a, a fragrance scent base that has the cologne scent fragrance to it. And then Sean said he has a couple more things to it. And I really enjoy all three of these. Highly recommend them. Uh, my favorite is called Bubble Man. Bubble Man, there's Bubble Man. And that one is a take on Gucci Guilty. And I've never tried any of these particular colognes. Like I said, I don't use colognes, but I really enjoy this one. But it's lemon, lime, citrus, orange blossom, cedar, vanilla. But it's the cologne is what you get out of all of these when you smell them. It smells like a cologne. Uh, and this one, just really nice. It's got just a, a touch of sweetness with the citrus um, behind it, the orange blossom. Uh, and then I don't really get cedar and vanilla, but definitely the lemon lime cologne vibe is what I get from that one. That one's called Bubble Man. By the way, these, uh, since uh, it's a little bit easier for Sean to produce these, it's actually $2 cheaper. Well, normally his retail price is $19.99. I saw where some of these scents uh, mainline scents are like $17.99 right now, but these are retailed for $15.99. Plus, you can save 15% uh, if you use the code Banjo15. That's an affiliate code, so I will get a little bit of a kickback if you do. Also, if you get up to $50, that's when you qualify for free shipping after all the discounts if you have $50 in your subtotal, uh, which is always good to do to save on that shipping. All right, uh, also, he lowered the price of his butters, uh, which are now $15.99. Uh, so he's trying to find ways to save money. Those guys are, uh, as we all are, we're penny pinching these days and cutting back and trying to save wherever we can. So Sean's thinking about that and trying to get uh, make stuff as affordable as it can. Uh, one other uh, thing that I need to mention to you is that the carrier oil on all of the oils um, no longer have cucumber seed. And I really enjoy that cucumber seed that was in it. Uh, but this is still really good. I do like the other just a tad better. Uh, so this is Babasu, Castor, Golden Jojoba, Abyssinian, Hemp Seed, and Avocado. So I think he said he bumped up the hemp seed because the, um, the cu cucumber seed oils like hemp seed on steroids, if you will. So I don't know if he just can't get it or it got too expensive. Maybe he can save that for like a premium line of scents and not have it in all of the scents because I really did like that as an option. You know, so it's a good option, too, because that's plant based, right? Cucumber seeds, whereas a lot of companies, they have premium lines that are uh, emu and ostrich. And some guys just you know, they're vegan friendly and they just don't want to go uh, down that route at all. So I think maybe offering the cucumber seed as a premium uh, line might be a good thing. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, so the next one I want to talk about is called Nightman. And that one is in blue. And that one is a take off of Dior Sa Sauvage. Is that how you say that? I don't know. So this one's a little bit more peppery, right? It's bergamot, pepper, vetiver, patchouli, cedar, and woodsy ambro ambroxan. I don't know what that is. Yeah, so not quite as sweet, even though it's still got that, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. So like I said, I like all of these, um, but this one's a little bit more on the bergamot, peppery, um, black pepper, vetiver, kind of side, but without too much bite to it. 
So that one, uh, if you've tried any of these, you can go smell them in the retail stores, the uh, colognes that they are mimicked after. You can kind of see if you like it. And the last one is red, so you can probably guess. Uh, this is Metal Man, and it is Polo Red. So it's grapefruit, cranberry, lemon, sage, saffron, amber, and redwood. And to me, this is a little more like a soapy kind of cologne uh, smell to it. A little bit sweeter than the other two. But I tell you, I, tell, I smelled several different cologne scents from uh, in Beard Oil from other companies. Polo Red seems to be a, at least a, it used to be, that was the one that they would try to mimic was Polo Red. Uh, I like this one. It, it smells a little bit different than all of those. It's not quite as sweet, more, a little bit more on the soapy side. Uh, so if you like the kind of clean smells, uh, that one you may want to try out. But that one is called Metal Man. I think Sean said he had like um, maybe five to seven more of these coming. So a lot of stuff going on over there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to drop too many hints. Some of the ones that are real popular that sell, and he might do something special with those. And I better not say what it is because I don't want to get myself in trouble. I didn't see that posted anywhere. Um, also just released some mustache wax. Uh, haven't tried that yet, but that's $9.99. So lots of cool stuff. Uh, check it out. Let me know if you've tried um, 8-Bit and what your favorite scent was. If you haven't checked out my original 8-bit uh, video, you can go back and do that. I go through all of the main line scents. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Make sure that you uh, check out my 2,000 subscriber video. We're getting closer and closer every day, so make sure you check that out and make sure you're subscribed. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you soon.